ways, I'm going to show you what kind of courses are more computer science, what are more of software engineering, okay? So I studied, looked up uh, SFU computer science, and this is a result. You can do the same. Do make sure to you know, try uh, looking up by yourself to build your uh, problem-solving skills. Bachelor degree, why computer science? Problem solver. What is computer science? What does computer science matter? Security, business engineering, many other areas. And then actually, SFE provides like multiple different things. Computer science, software just systems. This might be confusing to you, right? So let's find out the difference. Oops. So what I did, I took computer science. Computer science major. There's a software system major as well. I believe software systems is gonna be a little bit more practical than computer science, which is typically a little bit more, you know, theoretical. Let's open that. This is software systems. Fundamental software engineering. So this software engineering is really important if you wanna get a job. So computer programming, this is software engineering stuff, object oriented designs, computers are uh, so okay. I'm gonna object oriented design programming oops uh, data structure is also software engineering and computer science. So I'll put it here. Software development method. That's more of software engineering, so I'm gonna put it here. Right? This is software engineering. Hopefully, this is helpful for you. Engineering. Right? This is computer science. Software development, software development method. Okay. Fuck. Fuck you. Oh, right. Compiler design. Quality assurance is definitely software engineering because it's about testing. So. Uh, comparative programming language. You don't need to take it. It's symbolic computing, web system architecture. This is web development, all right? So this is definitely a kind of computer science as well, but more software engineering too. Introduction to formal verification. Compiler design is definitely a, a little bit more computer, computer science, because it's more, a little bit more about the theory. Why is it so small? enough and what about computer science major let's go to computer science computer graphics multimedia computing system is kind of like programming system networking all that so let's see <laughs> so this computer science correlation Concentrations, artificial intelligence, like artificial intelligence, computer vision is really theory as well. It's kind of like related to uh, you know detecting people or object, moving object in camera. So it's using like a car, auto driving car, or in you know, a hospital, tracking object with like a security camera. It's a computer vision. Computer linguistics. It's also uh, 
mobile theories of computer science. It's about you know how to process you know, language like a Google. When you type in something like a, on a browser like a Google, they process it and you know they convert it to audio. Or they're going to convert audio to text, like audio, like speech to text kind of a, uh, a functionalities, also computer linguistics, right? Model-based computer vision is about intelligent system, computer cognitive architecture for sure, cognitive science, uh, these are all computer science, they are not like, you know, think about software engineering as more like, you know, tech companies, companies, job. And computer science is more of like a research job, research, like you no know, masters. So they're gonna work as a data scientist, data scientist at companies. Software engineering, they're gonna work as, of course, software engineer. Developer, engineer, whatever you wanna call. Quality assurance QA tester. Same stuff. Computer graphics is uh, a little bit here in the middle because you learn about theory as well as computer graphics. It's like a game too, right? The data structure is you know must take. Ocean learning design must take to be software engineer. This is must too to be a computer software engineer. Computer graphics, I would say, you know what? To be honest, this is not quite. Uh, it's more computer science, not software engineering per se. User interface design. That's I would say kind of a theory as well. So I put it here. Like mobile application, they require good user data uh, UX user experience or UI, user interface. So that's quite important in, you know. Multimedia image synthesis, like image processing or computer vision related, that's definitely uh, computer science. It's not quite related to software programming languages, right? Animation, visualization, geometric modeling and computer science. This is kind of, kind of like a Google Earth, you know, geometric modeling. Modeling, geology thing, stuff like that, like three D thing. That's more like you know, gaming, uh, stuff like this. You know, a movie they use you know modeling as well. Not quite software engineering, not much of programming per se. Animation, visual, visualization. Uh, operating system is definitely computer more theory. So. So definitely, you know, overlap between software engineering and computer science. And operating system is a must for if you want to work as a software developer. Computer modeling, you no, know, networking is kind of also important. So it's a must as well. You need to understand TCP, IP kind of thing. At least if you do web development, you type some URL to browser that makes a, you know creates a HTTP request to ask to a server to get web page content. That's kind of like you know uh, networking as well. A little bit. Networking is definitely uh, not much about compiler designs. A theory as well. I would say theory and something mm, more of theory because you don't really it's it's really good to know about co compiler design to be a really good uh, programmer software engineer but yeah distributed system this is kind of like about you know, these days big systems like you know cloud computing you know Google Amazon everybody you know all the big players using the distributed systems to scale up right so that's more about Theory, you know, scale, scale, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, they all use distributed system. So it's really important. Now here comes embedded system. That's computer engineering. 
computer computer engineering software and hardware think about Intel chipset you know these companies or Oracle or Cisco they make hardware right some of that so definitely embedded system embedded system is like you know the you know chipset you can put on like a car so embedded system and if you take a computer you see like a little chipset like chipset like this this is embedded system pretty much you embed that stuff into an you know, object could scale embedded system like hardware stuff chipset that's embedded system. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Embedded system. Real-time system is also computer engineering. Uh, what else? I think this is really help. I hope this is gonna be really helpful for you to kind of imagine picture. You know that you know map out the difference between computer science, social engineering, and computer engineering, right? Networking, special topic, special topic, hardware, information system management. This is more more like a data using data. So it's kind of related to software and computer science. Like you know, big data is kind of like that. Uh, database, database is important. It's must. This is a must to be a software engineer. Must. It's it's a combination of theory and practicality. Uh, information retrieval, web design. I took this course. It was really good. This is more computer science, science because you know, think about Google search engine, web information. So pretty much a search engine, how to search information in the like big data, and this is more of a master level, master's level, like a graduate level thing. So like big data scientist, data scientists like this guy, working at Google, Microsoft, they can uh, you know study about this at the grad graduate level courses web system architectures this is more of a software engineering how web works like server front end database software development method that's pretty so this is more of software engineering right this is also software engineering this is more about computer engineering because it involves hardware Computer graphics, more computer science. This is it doesn't involve hardware, artificial intelligence, AI. So it's more computer science. See the difference? And programming language. This is gonna be all computer science. Software quality assurance. Definitely software engineering. It's important. So definitely take it. I took it. It was really great. Because if you wanna be a software engineer, you really need to understand not just about coding, but also testing your code. It's really good. And mathematical no take this one this is the the one of the most important thing if you want to be software engineer you learn about practice like how to plan how to gather requirements how to implement it how to test it how to make a product and ship it so i did this in you know, iphone application you know iphone app. i did it with iphone app now maybe they're teaching with android iphone app creation this is a must if you want to be a software, be a software engineer because we do like you know kind of you know method we use methodology to do software development life cycle design implementation testing you know that life cycle you learn that from software engineering course um, function so programming language you don't need to know about functional programming or different comparative programming that's a little bit you know different a little bit like you know if you are studying English this is kind of like learning Italian German Swedish you don't really need to know about other language except you know Java C++ C sharp JavaScript HTML so theoretical computer science this data structure algorithm this is definitely computer science but it's must I don't think this is correct so it's overlap between computer science and software engineering. This is must if you want to work at uh, you know big companies like Google, Facebook. They require you to be good at data structure and algorithm. 
most important thing here is this and object oriented design data structure. When I, you know, took an interview, when I studied for uh, interviews at Microsoft, Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, you know, pretty much what I study is data structure, object oriented design, and algorithm. Not much of actually data communications here. Right? Operating systems is a little bit more of actually computer science and computer engineering. So, I would say computer operating system, computer programming, must, must, must. Quality assurance, pretty much, you really need it. Database as well, pretty important. User interface design, so right. Right, so algorithm you really need to have that as a computer science. I mean, to be a software developer. Software topics, theory of computer networks. You don't need to take theory of computer networks. Numerical analysis, that's math. Cryptography, it's math as well. Linear optimization, it's math. All right, so so that's that, guys. You know, to be software engineer, to work as a software developer. You need to definitely take these at least and then make sure to take these to improve your you know quality of code that's what's required if you want to work at a real company in real industry and you don't necessarily need to take these guys because that's more computer engineering which is a little bit more think about more like Cisco like a networking database server Oracle or chipset company like Intel or you know car if you want to work with manufacturing company you know less demand for computer engineering more demand for software engineering that's because demand is so high computer science is a little bit more research oriented but definitely you need a little bit of foundation of computer science to be a good software engineer that's why a, a basic fundamentals of computer science the over up here is data structure optional and design Algorithm for sure, database for sure, and programming for sure. And if you want to go for research, if you want to be a researcher, data scientist, big data scientist, or you know AI researcher, 